Thanks for tuning in to Baby Lap Time with the Edmonton Public Library again. Uh, my name is Angela. I'm here at the Lois Hole branch in our little Baby Lap Time corner today. Um, so we're back at the library. If you're ever at Lois Hole, come say hi to me because um, as you know, I can't see and hear you and I really miss seeing all the babies. But if you have any issues with hearing or seeing me today, please let me know in the comments and I'll keep my eye on them. Um, baby lap time, as you know, is normally geared for kids up to 12 months old, but we've been doing them for about six months together at home now, and I always talk about ways that we can adapt each of the songs and rhymes so that kids of all ages, um, if you have toddlers around, everyone can have fun and participate. So you don't have to have a baby or be a baby to have fun. Um, as you know, I always start with just a couple minutes of super quick housekeeping things. Um, so. As always, I'm sitting on the floor here today, and the floor is where we normally sit when we do baby lap time together at the library. Um, but you're probably in your home, so you know your space and baby best. Um, I will alternate um, between having my baby on their back and in my lap and in my arms and facing in and facing out. So a an area with a little bit more space, like the floor or a couch or a bed would be great, but do whatever works for you. I put this in the Facebook group uh, not that long ago, but we're going to be using scarves today. If you don't have a scarf or don't want to use one, that's totally fine. But if you don't have a fancy scarf and you've got an egg scarf, a washcloth, um, a clean dish towel, a paper towel actually works really great. There's definitely substitutes in your home um, that you can use as well. So if you've got one, um, grab it. If not, no worries at all. We can have lots of fun without it as well. If you've joined us before, you'll know we have three very uh, simple story time guidelines for all of our classes, and I'll just go through them super quickly. The first one is just be safe. I've been saying that we all already are being safe and keeping each other safe by attending these classes from home, so thanks for doing that. Our second guideline is have fun. Um, having fun is the whole reason we're here today. So I like to say that if you ever feel super silly, um, singing along or doing the actions with me, just remember that I am doing them by myself with a stuffed animal. So if anyone should feel extra goofy, it's definitely me and not you. And our final guideline is just go with the flow. You can pause and rewind this video whenever you want, so if you need to step out, take a break, leave uh, and come back or not come back, feel free to do so. Um, we post all of the recordings on YouTube and on Facebook after, along with all the lyrics to the songs and rhymes that we sing together, so don't worry about missing anything. You can always rewatch and catch up later. That's all I have for now. I'll let you know when we get to the scarf, so if you've got yours handy, you can have it close by. If not, you can go get it later. Um, but the first thing I like to do when we start is a little cleanup song. I've got a mess over here, as always. Um, so if you have anything that you want to put away, you can join me and make sure you sing along even if you're not cleaning up. Should we do it together? Ready? Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Yay! You'll notice that I will clap and cheer after every song, and I always often use the sign for more, which is like this, and kids pick up on it super fast. So we're gonna do the clean up song one more time because I've got more stuff to put away. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Yay, good job. The cleanup song is probably one of the, the most popular songs that we do at our classes. It's more of a transition song, but because we do it so often, um, toddlers especially pick it up really quickly. It's a great way to associate words um, and patterns with the actions that we're doing, and it makes an activity that maybe adults don't think are super fun. A little fun for kids, they love to help out, and there's definitely a sense of accomplishment, especially if we cheer. Um, and provide encouragement at the end. So the cleanup song is a great song to sing even if you're the one that's doing the cleaning. It's great for babies and young kids to hear you um, saying those words out loud as you're doing an activity. Great job. Now that we've cleaned up, I think we need to sing a hello song. We always start with a hello song. We've done this one before, but not in a few weeks, I don't think. This one is called Up, Down, Turn Around. So if you're a big kid, I want you to stand up and you're gonna do the actions by yourself. And if you've got a little baby with you, you can have them um, in your hands, facing in or facing out, whatever you prefer. And we'll do it twice. This one goes like this. Up, down, turn around. 
turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your shoulders, say hello, say hi everyone. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Yay! Good job. Should we do that one one more time? Ready? Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle your shoulders, say hello, hello. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Yay! Good job. That one's kind of like a nice afternoon stretch too. Now that we've said hello, another thing we like to do at the beginning of all our classes is learn everyone's names. And normally at the library we're able to go in a big circle and share our names in a big group, but since we are online it's going to be a little different, but babies and kids love to hear their own names, they love to hear them celebrated as well, so let's make sure we still get a chance to do that. The name song uh, goes like this. We'll do it with my name and my baby's name, and then I'd like to hear your names as well. It goes, Angela's here today. Oh, Angela's here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray. Hooray! It's very important that we cheer after everyone's names. Should we do one more practice with Tigger's name? Ready? Tigger's here today. Oh, Tigger's here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray. Hooray! Good job. Now we want to hear your names. So we're going to do the song three more times. I'm going to say you are here today, but you are going to say your own names. So you can do it um, with your baby's name all three times if you like. You can do your baby's name and your name, or if you have other kids um, or friends in the room, we can go through three different people's names. And if you need to do it more times, feel free to give it a pause and get through everyone's names before um, you continue. It's all good. Ready? You are here today. Oh, you are here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray. Hooray! Great name. Can we do that one more time? Who else is here? You are here today. Oh, you are here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray. Hooray! One more time. Who else is here? Ready? You are here today. Oh, you are here today. Let's all clap our hands and say hip, hip, hooray. Hooray! Yay! Thanks for sharing your names. That's always a fun one, hey? All right, the next song we're going to do is about our clothes. We've done this one before, but not recently, I don't think. This is a nice one because it's getting a little cold outside, extra windy for sure. So this one's about putting our clothes on. Does everyone have clothes on today? Good, so this one's called Baby Put Your Pants On. Um, you can do the signs for the articles of clothing, which I will do. But uh, especially with a baby, you can also just sort of refer to your own clothes or their clothes as well um, if you prefer those over the signs. So let's do the song. It starts with our pants. Ready? I'm going to have my baby on their back for this one, but if you have a big kid who's standing up or sitting down, they can find their own pieces of clothing. Baby, put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby, put your pants on. One, two, three. Baby, put your shirt on shirt on shirt on baby put your shirt on one two three baby put your socks on socks on socks on baby put your socks on one two three baby put your shoes on shoes on shoes on baby put your shoes on one two three baby put your coat on coat on coat on baby put your coat on one two three baby put your hat on hat on hat on baby put your hat on one two three 
Now that you're all dressed, all dressed, all dressed, now that you're all dressed, let's go play. Yay! That was a long song because I did quite a few verses, but obviously that's a very adaptable song to whatever clothes you're putting on your baby. It works if you're taking off clothes when you get back in the house as well. And I've definitely heard from moms and grandmas and parents that it's a nice one um, to again associate the activity of getting dressed and that routine with a fun song. Um, and the one, two, three is a nice introduction to counting and, and those words as well for young babies. Should we do that one one more time? Can we take all our clothes off and put them all back on? We'll start with our pants. Baby, put your pants on, pants on, pants on. Baby, put your pants on, one, two, three. Baby, put your shirt on, shirt on, shirt on. Baby, put your shirt on, one, two, three. Baby, put your socks on, socks on, socks on. Baby, put your socks on, one, two, three. Baby, put your shoes on, shoes on, shoes on. Baby, put your shoes on, one, two, three. Baby, put your coat on, coat on, coat on. Baby, put your coat on, one, two, three. Baby, put your hat on, hat on, hat on. Baby, put your hat on, one, two, three. Now that we're all dressed, all dressed, all dressed. Now that we're all dressed, let's go play. Yay! Good job. That's a long one, but one that's very um, practical and fun and also easy to remember, which I think is an important part uh, of a song as well. So the next thing we're going to do, we'll do another uh, song and then we'll take a break from singing with a couple of rhymes. But this one's called Hands Are Clapping. Um, there's a peekaboo part, so you can use your scarf for it, but you definitely don't have to. There's a scarf section later in the class. Um, so this one goes like this. I'm going to have my baby um, on their back as well, but if they're in your lap, if you're a big kid, you can do this by yourself as well. Everything works for this song. So it goes like this. Where's my baby? Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, 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 clap your hands, my darling. What else can we do? What about something with our toes? Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Tap your toes, my darling. What if we wiggle our fingers? Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle your fingers, my darling. What if we do a peekaboo here? I'll use my hands. Baby's hiding, peekaboo. Baby's hiding, peekaboo. Baby's hiding, peekaboo. Peek. Peekaboo, my darling. Yay! Good job. That's another song that goes to a catchy tune, but none of the words actually uh, rhyme in it. So you can easily replace any of those verses or add verses um, based on what your baby is interested in doing. You can make it as long or short as you want. Let's do those verses one more time. We'll start with our clapping. Ready? Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands, my darling. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Tap your toes, my darling. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle your fingers, my darling. Baby's hiding, peek a boo. Baby's hiding, peek a boo. Baby's hiding, peek a boo. Peek a boo, my darling. Yay! Good job. Thanks for singing along. 
Songs like that one that repeat a lot, like clap, 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 and tap, 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 are a great way to start to learn pronunciating words um, and remembering um, sounds and vowels for babies as well. As promised, we'll take a bit of a singing break because those were some long songs, so we'll do um, some quick rhymes before we get back to the songs. This one is, um, does some labeling with baby's face, and we've done this one before as well. So you can do this uh, with your baby's face as we do the rhyme, or you can show them the features of your face as you do it. So maybe I'll do it um, two different times as we do this one. So this one's called Two Little Eyes. It goes like this. Two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear each sound. One little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that loves to eat. And you can do a big tickle at the end of that one. Yay! Good job. Let's do that one more time, and I'll do it with my face. Ready? Two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear each sound. One little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that loves to eat. <laughs> Yay, good job. The short rhymes are nice um, if you ever need a distraction or a transition as well. And we normally do tons of songs and rhymes about our different body parts. Um, labeling them is a great way to have fun and do tickles, but also have babies and small kids um, learn those important words and start to be able to identify them um, when you ask them where their nose is, for example. Awesome job. Another rhyme we're going to do is a bouncing rhyme. So for this one, I'm going to have my baby in my lap. If you have a toddler and they fit in your lap, this is fun for older kids as well. And it's called a smooth road. So we're going to go on a little journey together. Ready? A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a windy road, a windy road, a windy road, a windy road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a hole. Where did my baby go? Yay! Good job! So that's an easy um, balance to remember. It's super adaptable, so you can make your road um, as dangerous as you like. Um, and if your baby is into the drops for a hole, that's really fun. Or if they prefer a lift, um, you can hit a ramp at the end. Super easy to adapt. I encourage you to be creative with it. Let's do that one one more time. We start with a smooth road. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a windy road, a windy road, a windy road, a windy road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a hole. Yay! Good job. Kids uh, at classes love that one. It's very dramatic. Good job. All right. Um, I think we have to sing a few more songs. Are we ready to stay maybe? Let's stay on the road, and we're going to sing a song about fire trucks. So I'm going to keep Baby in my lap for this one, and we'll do the song twice. It's super fun. It goes like this. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, 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 ding. What else should we do? What about climbing a ladder? Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. What else can we do? Should we squirt some water? Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Ding, 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 ding. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Ding, 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 ding. Good job. 
let's do that one one more time and then we're gonna get our scarves out let's get back in the fire truck ready hurry hurry drive the fire truck hurry hurry drive the fire truck hurry hurry drive the fire truck ding 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 ready to go up Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. Get your hose. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. Ding, 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 ding. Let's slow down. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Slowly, slowly, back to the station. Ding, 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 ding. Yay, good job. That's a fun one that again, you can make um, as long or short as you like and adapt um, the activities to what you and your baby find are fun as well. All right. Now I'm going to get my fancy pink scarf out. So if you've got your scarf or scarf substitute, let's do some songs with our scarves. The first one's kind of a warm up, but I feel like you can't do scarves without doing peekaboo. So let's do some peekabooing together. I'll just do it to the screen, but obviously you want to do it facing your baby and you can have them um, on their back or in your lap or, or sitting down, whatever you prefer. So this one goes like this. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you, I see your little nose, I see your tiny toes, peek-a-boo, I see you, yay, good job, and obviously that works with your hands or pretty much any object that you can hide behind, so let's do that one more time, ready? Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you, I see your little nose, I see your tiny toes, peek-a-boo, I see you, yay! That's always a, a super fun one for babies too, who are just sort of discovering peek-a-boo and object permanence. All right, the next song we are gonna do um, is about the weather. It's been a little wild this week, so maybe this is an appropriate one to do today. So we're just gonna use our scarves sort of as visual stimulation and doing lots of waving for this one. And we'll do it two times. So this one goes like this. Rain is falling down, splash. Rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter, rain is falling down, splash. What about if it snows? Snow is drifting down, shh. Snow is drifting down, shh. Drifting here, drifting there, snow is drifting down, shh. But what about the sun? Sun is peeking out, peekaboo. Sun is peeking out, peekaboo, peeking here, peeking there, sun is peeking out, peekaboo, yay! So that's a more calming and sort of gentle song, but it's nice to have some of those in your repertoire as well, and the scarf kind of just adds that sort of visual element um, for your baby to also look at. Let's do that one more time. We'll start with the rain. Rain is falling down, splash. Rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Rain is falling down, splash. Snow is drifting down, shh. Snow is drifting down, shh. Drifting here, drifting there. Snow is drifting down, shh. Sun is peeking out, peekaboo. Sun is peeking out, peekaboo. Peeking here, peeking there. Sun is peeking out, peekaboo. Yay! Good job. That one is a nice one um, to talk about the weather, or it kind of works as a lullaby too, I think. Awesome job. 
related to the weather, we're going to do one of my favorite scarf songs. It's called Come Under My Umbrella. So this is a nice stormy season song. It works really well with a scarf, but if you want to add sort of um, a layer of sound and texture, you can do it with crinkly uh, tin foil. It's fun with bed sheets as well, or if you're doing the laundry. So let's do this one together. I'm going to have my baby on their back and we're going to pretend the scarf is a big old umbrella. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to storm with thunder and lightning and wind and rain. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to storm. Yay, good job. And kids really get a kick out of the thunder and lightning if you can make it a little scary and um, noisy as well. Let's do that one one more time. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to storm with thunder and lightning and wind and rain. Come under my umbrella, it's starting to storm. Yay! Good job! All right, we're going to do one more scarf song, and then we've got some fun um, lifts to end our class today. This one's called Popcorn Kernels. I'm going to use the scarf for this, but you can also do this without a scarf, so maybe we'll do it twice um, in different ways. So I'll start with the scarf. We're going to scrunch it up. It goes, Popcorn Kernels, Popcorn Kernels, in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Yay, good job. That one's a fun one for, for young kids because there is a lot of visual stimulation. It doesn't even have to be a scarf. So if you've got a throwable, safe object um, that you can hide in your hands and throw up, that is really fun for them as well. You can also do the song with your baby as the popcorn kernel, or if you're a big kid, you can stand up and jump when it pops. So let's do it that way together. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. Yay, good job. If your baby enjoyed that little pop at the end, they're really going to like the next couple of songs. So I do these ones in every class because they're so fun. Um, and the first one of them is called the elevator song. So let's do that one together now. I'm going to hold my baby for this one. If you're a big kid, you can stand up and you're going to do lots of jumping and going up and down. We'll do this one twice as well. Ready? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Ready? We take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, then we turn around. Yay! Good job! That was not so bad. What if we did it one more time but a little bit faster? Let's do it. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, then we turn around. Yay! Good job. That one is super fun. Maybe see if you can even do it a little faster than that. But take a breath first. Awesome. The next song we are going to do is called Zoom Zoom Zoom, and you probably are familiar with this one as well. And of course we're going to do it two times. I'm going to do the action, so if you're a big kid, you can follow along. If you've got a baby, you can rock them or bounce them um, until we get to the big blast off. This one goes like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. 
If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Ooh, good job. I hope you blasted off really, really high. Can you see if you can blast off a little bit higher? Let's do it one more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! Great job. All right. We're running out of time here, so I think it's time for a goodbye song before we go. And then I'll let you know when our next class is going to be. But let's do a quick goodbye song together. Um, it's going to be the same as the hello song, except we're saying goodbye. So it's called Up, Down, Turn Around. I'm going to keep my baby in my lap for this one. Ready? Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Touch your ears and touch your eyes. Touch your nose and say goodbye. Say bye, everyone. Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Yay! Let's do that one more time before we go. Ready? Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Touch your ears and touch your eyes. Touch your nose and say goodbye. Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Yay! Good job. Thanks for singing along. I'm a little over time here, so sorry about that. Um, but I'll let you know that our next class is going to be uh, two Wednesdays from now, so on September 16th, and it's going to be at 10.30 in the morning. So September 16th, 10.30 a.m., uh, you can look for a new Facebook event page going up uh, right away. And I'll also post all the uh, lyrics to the songs and rhymes that we did today on Facebook and in the YouTube video description. So feel free to check those out. And that's all we have for today. So thanks for joining. I'm glad um, people are still able to attend. I always have lots of fun, and I look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks. Bye, everyone.